Republicans' bipartisan-backed bill to ban campaign contributions by public utility corporations died in committee this year, just like last year. Um, isn't it inappropriate for corporations like this, like Dominion, who get their money from taxpayers to turn around and use that money to influence uh, politicians who are supposed to be regulating them and protecting voters' interests? Uh, young and moderate voters want to see action on this issue, and I think it's a bipartisan winning issue. Um, will you make banning public utility corporation campaign contributions a legislative priority moving forward? No. No. And the reason is they have as much right to contribute as anybody else. And i got to tell you, uh, like I said, they have amongst the lowest residential rates on the East Coast. In addition to that, they have the six lowest industrial rates in America. And um, we, we essentially regulate an enormous amount of companies through legislation that aren't, you know, public utilities, the beer and wine wholesalers, um, construction and building industry, uh, um, um, so like medical society. We, we regulate and, uh, a ton, you know, we just don't call them public services but they operate based on the structure that we set up there. And uh, by the way, th that's employee donations that goes to Dominion's PAC. That's not, that's not corporate, their corporate money, okay? So that, that's why. And I think you run afoul. Uh, I, I, I don't think the, uh, the Supreme, Virginia Supreme Court uh, would uphold that for five seconds. So I agree with Dick on this aspect of it. Our system right now is set up, and it's sort of strange. I think if you were starting a system from scratch, said here's all the companies and all the industries that are uh, regulated by the, the General Assembly, and they're going to supply 90% of the campaign funds for everybody who runs for the General Assembly. That sounds like kind of a weird way to do business. But in fact, I mean, that's, that's the system that we've got now. Um, the folks that really care enough until maybe recently uh, to figure out who was running for the House of Delegates, who was paying attention, what was going on, and follow... Uh, the action were people that had an interest, you know, a pecuniary interest, but an interest in what was going on in Richmond. Um, that's why I introduced the bill to start to talk about a public finance system, and it creates incentives for people to, to I agree with also with Dick, that you can't constitutionally tell these folks they can't contribute to a, an employee PAC um, and form and, and organize and, and, and share their money and then use that as a form of speech to, to, to influence uh, elected officials. <coughs> you could create a system where it's easier for more people to participate, and the people that want to participate in that public financing program agree to voluntarily forego uh, public service, all kinds of PAC money, and so forth. I, I do think as a practical matter, and this is something that, that Senator Saslaw said about redistricting as well, is, is this idea of unilateral <coughs> government. I, I understand there's a lot of folks that probably Democrats should lead by example and just unilaterally stop taking this kind of money, and I think that would be a mistake. I think that would be doing a huge advantage to the other team. Um, so I think I'm happy to work on redoing the system and, and, and creating a different kind of campaign finance system. Um, and I'm happy to try and solicit as many non-corporate contributions as possible so that I don't need that kind of money to compete with the other side. But if we're going to say we're going to stop <coughs> raising money and the other side is going to continue to raise money and have access to the airwaves and the radio and the newspapers and in your mailboxes and we're not going to be able to compete with that, I don't think that's a smart thing for us to do. By wow, the way, I just uh, let it pull it off. By, by, by the way, virtually every penny I, I get from contributions, um, since I've had a relatively easy district, that has, and I mean, I realize I'm turning this into a partisan thing. Um, over the last 15 years, I've raised over four and a half million dollars, and it's gone to electing people in my party. Every last penny of it. So we have a question in the back.